Hello everybody and welcome back to another video of Heroes of the Storm. Today we're playing Lucio, the freedom fighting DJ. Uh, now, traditionally, I hate Lucio. Um, I think he's just annoying and uh, <clears throat> when I have him on my team, don't feel like he's super impactful. Um, but I was watching some YouTube. I was watching Kaldor who's doing his uh, meta mapness right now, which is uh, Kaldor's a, a caster who um, <clears throat> casts like tournaments for heroes of the storm and i noticed in those games that they had been banning or picking a lot of lucio and i was like well what what are these players that are better than me what do they know that i don't so i decided to put a build together and give them a try and i think i've started to figure out why this guy is such a monster um so hopefully we'll be able to show that to you in this video and uh yeah we'll hop into a game all right, we find ourselves on the Braxis holdout today. Now, if you don't know how Lucio's kit works, I can explain that to you real quick. Um, so he has this little area that you can see around Lucio that is switching from green to yellow. Yellow, uh, you'll heal an ally within the area for 16 health uh, per second, and this affects all allies. So we'll actually combo pretty well with the Lost Vikings. Um, <clears throat> and then the other one is you grant 10% speed boost uh, to all allied heroes in that area of effect. <clears throat> um, and then our E combos with this. All that our E does is it uh, increases this bonus uh, substantially. So it'll increase the healing. So it heals instead of for 16, it's 116 per second for 3 seconds. And then instead of 10% movement speed, it's now going to be... Uh, 30% movement speed bonus. <clears throat> so a nice difference there. So Lucio is uh, traditionally thought by me to be more of a, uh, what I call like a passive healer. Um, as you can see there, I'm not quite even able to, to save my ally. Uh, <clears throat> Ooh, get away from him. Um, <clears throat> oh, we're all getting wrecked. I'm gonna try to heal my ally and give her some speed to get out of there too. Um, <clears throat> but... A little bit scared. I'm gonna go ahead and tap quickly here. Um, our Q ability, which I'm sure you've seen me use at least once already, um, is a little boop that I used just there in this cone in front of Lucio. Uh, you can boop all enemy units hit, dealing a small amount of damage, uh, as well as... Ah, get away from her! <laughs> a small amount of damage, as well as uh, knocking all enemies back. Um, ooh gonna make sure my ally here doesn't get too messed up to the best of our ability healing as much as we can here but it's not looking too too good for us thankfully though enemy team has nobody top lane but that doesn't matter too too much in the grand scheme of things we're gonna go and just heal up one more time and then it wouldn't even be a horrible idea for us to back out as i do need some globes well there's two of them yeah that's two nice little globes um, <clears throat> you can see my healing numbers are, compared to this Anduin, very, very high. A uh, nice pickup on the Nova in the top lane. <clears throat> uh, you'll notice Lucio is kind of bouncing on and off these walls. That's his trait. It's called Wall Ride. Oh, I can't help myself. Gonna go in here and heal my allies up a bunch. But what Wall Ride does... Ooh, Is it allows us to uh, stick to these walls, and every time we're sticking to the wall, we're gaining a little bit of movement speed. Now, this movement speed is uh, increased, of course. Oh, get me out of here. That's no good. <laughs> so much death. Uh, the movement speed bonus is increased um, by wall riding longer, one. And two, by our level one talent, which was Accelerando. Uh, this is my favorite pick up here. We're going to just speed boost this girl out. And as I get rooted though, unfortunate. Uh, we do have a Sippy Cup up once again. And with all that being said, we're heading top lane. Because Lucio is actually, believe it or not, a global healer. Look at how fast we can rotate between these lanes. He's not like a traditional global heal healer. But with how much speed we have, our global presence is... Uh, we'll go ahead and heal him up a little bit. Is enough for me to consider him to be a global healer. Um. <laughs> Imperius is having to ping all of these allies. 
Uh, and you can see we can kind of bully these these en enemies just a little bit. Uh, go ahead and heal up my ally. Or <laughs> I was speed boosting because I wanted to get out of there too, though. Alright, there's your speed boost. There's a boop. And we'll heal them up. So you can use your speed boost in a lot of instances uh, to both heal uh, or, or peel for allies as well as um, <clears throat> chase down enemy heroes. So quite a few applications to use it, uh, all of which are very good. Like right here, we're activating our speed boost and then switching right back though because I need to heal myself and my allies up a little bit. Uh, I'd like to be in on this enemy team a little bit more than we are, but I also don't want to be taking unnecessary poke. Unfortunately, we are losing another lost Vikings player. Uh, there's another big heal coming up. Uh, we're going to grant this girl some movement speed and hopefully be able to get to her in time. Um, or we'll take this guy too. A little bit of healing for my allies. Nice. As you can see we're very, very active as a healer. I'm going to head down bottom lane here. And uh, I can talk about some of the talents we went for a little bit. Heal her up. Give her the nice big heal. If you notice, there's now an aura happening around us. That's from our level 7 talent. Our level 7 talent is called... Uh, <clears throat> uh, reverse Amp. And what it does is it allows us to um, deal damage to enemies if we have our healing aura active whenever we hit Amp it up. Or uh, slow enemies if we have... Um, are slow active when we amp it up. <clears throat> we're going to tap for some mana here and get back into the fight. We were able to capture a full objective wave. And I need to make sure I'm healing my ally. <laughs> Whoopsies. Then getting some globes. Continue to move by. Not bad? Yeah, not bad at all. We'll, we'll heal her up one more time. I think that's all we'll be able to do. Um, we actually do very strong against the Deathwing. Uh, just, just due to the fact that he shouldn't ever really be able to hit us. There's a few heals. Not even close. And we're able to take down big chunky Durgan. Uh, unfortunately though, Valera overstayed her welcome. And she gets taken down by the Nova. Who could, technically speaking, wreck us as well. So we're going to want to get out of this lane as quickly as possible. And regroup with the friendly team. Uh, <clears throat> and then at level at level 4, we picked up uh, Supersonic. Which is the ability to... Woo, that was close. Uh, Supersonic allows you to... Uh, that little push-off ability, which I don't know if I've actually explained yet. Oh, buddy. Run! Speed boost! Like, that's so much fun. That's so strong. Uh, hopefully he, he de-pings him. Not quite gonna. So, we do lose the Viking in the, the end. Um, but our... Our, our D, or F, it's on F key for me, is uh, called push off. And you can push off the wall. Um, <clears throat> whew, pushing off the wall and dealing a little bit of damage to all enemy heroes that get hit. As well as uh, slowing them for 75% for one second. And all that our level 4 talent does is it allows this to happen uh, much more often with the acquiration of... Oh boy, we're just gonna beat. Ah, oh, we barely missed time the beat, unfortunately. Uh, trying to get our healing pumping out as much as we possibly can, but unfortunately we are uh, losing just as many, if not more, heroes than the other team. Um, but with push off, we're able to be more of a global hero overall, um, and really just dart around the map much more easy, easily. Activating our amp it up to heal up our ally. <clears throat> and I'm out of here. I'm going to go soak top lane. <clears throat> Sticking to walls as much as possible to do this is very, very helpful. Push off. Um, And that's probably all that I can do here. I would like to stay and help you, Valera, but I got to get out of here. If you ever feel like you're trapped. Wow. Li Ming's getting so much value, it's really hard to watch. Uh, I now need to be up here to help out my ally if she needs it. Heal her up nice and good and start to head down. But if you ever feel trapped, you can simply go to the edge of the map and wall ride out. 
With Accelerando, you have 150% movement speed, which is 20% faster than mount speed, if you, if you know. So, <clears throat> this allows you... Woohoo! Get me out of here! This allows you to, um... Just get to the edge of the map, and you can run away from any bad uh, predicament you might find yourself in. Uh, just making sure I'm able to heal myself up here. And we really do need to be just trying to get level... Oh! Uh, level 16 would be the big one for us. Uh, we're actually going to go ahead and beat quickly here to try and save our ally. Healing her up as well. Uh, and it looks like that's all we're going to be able to do. Hopefully we can get her out, but she's refusing to leave. There's a boop and a speed boost. That's all I got for her. And actually, I will get taken down with silly, silly Calamity Lee Ming. Calamity Lee Ming's way too overpowered right now. <clears throat> um, but we did have top lane pushing. Uh, we're getting another camp, so it's not the end of the world. Unfortunately, I have this habit as Lucio. I f I'm finding out that I play him like I, I would a Greymane, but in healer form. So I get Greymane Syndrome as Lucio to save my allies, which is what I did there. Because your healing is like an aura, I feel like I need to be there to try and save my allies. Um, so, unfortunately, we did that right there, and uh, it cost us our life trying to save our Valera's life. But you cannot win them all. Um, heal up our little Vala, and look, that heal, that's a substantial heal. It's, I get, it's just on a puny little Vala, but still, it's not the end of the world. I kind of want to fight now, because I tapped there, just because my fort was dying. So I want to find him and fight him. And screw it, we're going to get slipped. Ah, oh, Li Ming does too much damage. Slip! Uh, <laughs> push off, baby. Alright. Well, I got baited by my sippy cup. Lost Vikings are attempting to rejoin. Um, and I do have a heal for my allies. So considering we've had a bot Lost Vikings this whole game, it's not been going horribly. Uh, we'll just deal a little bit of poke to her. But her auto attacks actually are smacking me around. That's what it is. And that's one ability I cannot dodge are her auto attacks. Uh, what Slip does, though, is it... Um, wall Ride, if we pass through or near an enemy hero... We'll gain armor and uh, some movement speed. So we're able to actually dart around the map. Uh, we're going to go ahead and beat here quickly. Switch to the heal and activate it and try to stay alive ourselves. That's a lot from the enemy team though. But we shielded for so much there. Keeping our allies alive. This is huge. The objective is uh, working as well. It's, it's in our favor. Give him a little bit of a speed boost and then heal him up uh, to the best of our ability. Valera is suicidal. My goodness, Chief. What are you doing? <coughs> Uh, we do have a massive Zerg wave coming in now, though, and I know I talked about not wanting to do this before. Okay. I was going to go and try to save the Valera if she needed it. Thankfully, though, she did not. So we're just going to go ahead and continue to heal up our allies uh, as we have this massive Zerg wave coming in for us. Um, still no Lost Vikings back, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, this is going to be a huge push onto that building, uh, absolutely obliterating it. And we are approaching level 16, which is my personal favorite level for this for this guy. Um, it's where we will be allowed to uh, burst down. Not so much burst down, but... Oh my god! <laughs> wow, I can't talk and play at the same time. But not so much burst down, but rather allow us to have our abilities active more often. And it'll really help in the brawls, especially around the uh, capture points here. Um... I just, I was trying to get my wall ride to stay active there, and overextended to the point where Maev was able to blink in on us, plus a Leeming Calamity, which does way too much damage, uh, and that'll be the end. <clears throat> but you can see, the healing difference, granted, their Anduin's not playing amazing, but the heal difference is humongous um, between us. Alright, up the frequency. So now when we wall ride, we have this uh, blue c circle appearing around us, which is our attack range. So we're going to be allowed to auto-attack heroes from much, much, much closer now uh, than we typically would. I want to fight for this. Okay. If they were on the boss, I would like to fight for it, but they're not. So we're going to try maybe to mess up Li Ming before she gets too strong. This is silly, but I have my abilities to live. <laughs> All right. Whatever. I'll heal ya. Um, 
Whoa, what is this girl doing here? She probably has her alt. She's looking to use it, so... Here we go. We're gonna make sure we break it down. Break our beat down. Uh, we're gonna boop out the Anduin from his alt. Uh, which is very good for us. And begin to chase these enemies down as much as we can. Uh, oh, no. We are losing some allies, though. Oh, it was just Eric. Just a little guy. Alright, continue to push. Oh, I was really hoping the could get the... Uh, Ooh, tank some skill shots for her. But I was really hoping our Valyra could get that uh, silence or stun onto the enemy team's uh, Li Ming there. But Li Ming was able to boop out of it fast enough. Um, Whenever I play Lucio, I really don't know which ult I should be going. Um, So, it feels like it changes from game to game uh, which one I, I need. I felt I needed beat though just due to the sheer amount of blow up that this enemy team has had thus far in the game. Uh, we're also going to go ahead out here and just peel for my allies if they need it. Oh, you done overextend, you big goof. Got him. And now this is my camp. Going to go ahead and activate our healing as well. And we're able to pick up a nice double kill right as the objective comes online. This is huge for us. <clears throat> and with my quote-unquote global capabilities, we're going to be able to zoom up into the top lane faster than anyone else on our team could uh, and pick up this objective in full. Really nice job there so far. Still uh, only got bots on our team for the Lost Vikings. Going to go ahead and tap quickly here and continue to race car around the map. Be wherever the team might need me. I probably should have gone to Valyra because her health bar is really, really low. Lost Vikings attempting to rejoin for the second time now. So hopefully they can come back. Not that we need them though. We're not, now that we've won the game, they're going to come back. <laughs> uh, we're going to come in here and just make sure that our... Alright. Going to come in here as well and speed boost my allies. As well as slow some of the enemies. And then switch back to damage to pick up a nice kill on the enemy team's Nova. But up the frequency, it also, every basic attack will also allow us to um, reduce the cooldown of our Amp It Up. Which, Amp It Up is our main source of healing uh, and damage, honestly. So having that active more often is is going to win us the game. I want to go 1v1 this, uh, this here on the top lane. Come on, let's go. Let's go, Li Ming. Come on, you and me. Get back here, I ain't done with you. Get her! Oh, not quite able to. But, did the Lost Vikings, they rejoined just in time. <laughs> wow. So they don't get the lever penalty, that's so stupid. But, <laughs> that's the, uh, that was Lucio. I might do another one. But you can see, 41% of teams... Uh, health healed and I felt like we were quite impactful in the uh, the team fights without as much damage as Valera um, We were able to speed boost allies out of death a couple times as well as uh, my ult was super duper impactful in letting us survive the um, Enemy teams lethal combos um, The build that we went for in today's video was Accelerando at level 1 allowing us to be a global hero into supersonic at level four giving us uh more darts around in the fight as well as rotating through the map uh reverse amp so for, for the damage it is the main reason you pick it up uh sound barrier because i felt like i needed it for uh nova alt and and maya vault uh we then went for slip slip can be interchangeable uh the stun would have been really good against that enemy team as well but uh i don't know i just decided to go slip this game and then we went for up the frequency at level 16, which is a huge power spike for us, um, giving us more of our reverse amps, more healing, uh, more range to deal damage. It's super, super strong. And um, <clears throat> if we would have gotten to 20, I probably would have gone for Bossa Nova, which just allows you to... Um, your, your sound barrier, it's typically on a 90 second cooldown, I believe. 80 second cooldown and it decays over 6 seconds. That talent just allows you to have it be on a 30 second cooldown and it decays over 4 seconds. So it's it's an upgrade and it's really, really strong. But uh, that was Lucio. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.